Right, it's um, time for a drum roll after all this journey, finally. We've got to the uh, area in Arnhem held by the first air one, John Frost. So to the left, slightly to the left, and then as I cross over this area, oops, this area was the bit that was uh, held onto by the uh, British. That's the Airborne Memorial, the monument even. And there is the bridge, the new bridge. There's various bits of monument here. That is interesting. Here's a picture of the destroyed bridge. There's a couple of uh, photos here to give orientation. So I'm standing in this area here. So you can see the bridge, that's the modern bridge, which is up there. I'll go back to 1944. So this is a prior to Market Garden. Zoom in a little bit. Right, so I'll be standing around there. This is the area. Let's come back. That's it. This is the area that the Airborne had, and the school on that side. So that is their defensive perimeter, and that's the area immediately behind me here. This is the uh, Battle of Arnhem Information Centre, which I'll go into in a minute. I'll get up on the bridge as well. It's funny how this river is not as wide as I thought. It's the Rhine. And if you compare it to um, the wall at Nijmegen, this is um, titty tiny. I mean, it's only about what, 50, 60 metres wide here? Now this is on the um, eastern side of the, of the bridge, still on the, the north bank. So this is the part that was held by uh, Frost. Now I don't know if this is just an advert, whether this is located here, but is that a bit inappropriate? Paintball Arnhem? Located on the site pretty much where the school was. And this is the area under the bridge again on the east. Um, it's not very glamorous. Still can't get over actually how small the bridge is. Walking back onto the bridge. Uh, this is in, in into the uh, area held by Frost. And the information centre's there. Surprisingly, most of the uh, material on the wall is in uh, Dutch and I think German. If you want English, you have to get a piece of paper. No, obviously, I shouldn't say that. I'm in the Netherlands after all, but considering. It's about a very British event, it seems a bit strange. So let's go back and look at the memorials again. So finally up on the bridge. There's a cordoned off area there, looks like it's going to be some sort of 70th anniversary memorial. This is a early August, this is being filmed, 2014. And here's the bridge itself. There's the uh, first airborne Pegasus right at the top. And there's the bridge itself. So that's looking into Arnhem, the north bank, and then uh, back onto the bridge itself. 
and the pillbox memorial. Let's just walk a bit further onto the bridge. Looking down onto the Rhine. The, uh, if you see the bridge too far, film that's where the tower block was that looks along the bridge. And then um, I know this is not the same bridge, but it's in this area where all the um, German scout cars and uh, tanks that tried to get across, leading into town that way. I'm nearly at the centre of the bridge now. Let's move around and do a three, not a 360, but a 180. Alright, so something I didn't realise, a small river on the far side of that landmass. So it is a bit wider than I thought. So it's going back towards Arnhem now. It's probably used to Becky somewhere in the distance there. So this was uh, John Frost's position. Back to the bridge. 